Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm doing a review for Metropolis Lux Obscura on Xbox. Now this is published by Sometimes You and it was originally released way back in 2018 on the Xbox One and other consoles and they were kind enough to send me a copy for this video review so big thank you to them for that. Now this is a weird game um, in the sense that it's like a gritty comic book style noir sort of story imagine like the walking dead sin city style artwork mixed with the um match three mechanics you'd find in games like gems of war and those sorts of games now i've had to sort of mainly show the um the 3v3 the sort of puzzle aspect of the game in the the video here there is a lot of sort of story cutscenes and interacting sessions where you get to like um ask questions and sort of lead the narrative and sort of speak to people and stuff like that but there it is quite um adult in what content is shown and i don't want youtube uh kicking my ass basically so uh we've kept it clean but like i say there's a lot of nudity a lot of violence in it and stuff like that so um if that's your jazz then the artwork i must admit it looks fantastic they've done a fantastic job with the the sort of like comic style art now the game itself um is this 3v like match three sort of uh, gameplay where you basically do this puzzle bit to sort of do your fight so it's you versus someone else and you have to match up the symbols in the combat so you have to match like three fists together and they do three damage three boots um that sort of thing now there are other things as well you've got like propane tanks which do more damage tasers which do more damage you have like uh, an an anger meter you can build up as well and you also have health packs which obviously if you combine they heal you now your opponent will also do damage to you while you're playing and you can also accidentally do damage to yourself by matching uh, three police badges as well so you have to be careful at what you're doing and to match them it's not just left and right up and down you can basically move a icon as far and away across each line so it can go horizontally all the way across or vertically all the way across to to make the the threes now the actual match three puzzle games is fun it's simple and it works uh, at some points it does feel very sort of random so if you get a bad like a bad deal of um icons you, you you're instantly at a disadvantage whereas uh, other times like i say if you get a good hand it, it's really really simple now when you complete these combat you do unlock um these things called mental disorders and bad habits which are basically buffs uh, and abilities that sort of improve your damage your defense all that sort of thing so not the best named thing but that is what they basically are they're sort of like uh, level up buffs basically now, in between this gameplay, which is the fights, there is also obviously this story that you can follow. Um, and basically, um, you're this guy called John Lockhart, and you've just come out of prison um, because you supposedly murdered one of your old friends. And basically, it's all about finding out who framed him for the murder, and he wants to sort of give him payback, basically. So it's very graphic. Like I say, there's lots of uh, nudity, there's lots of violence in it, and stuff like that. But it's not too bad. Like I say, if you don't mind that sort of thing, you'll probably quite enjoy it. The game itself isn't very long. You'll get through it in less than two hours in a single playthrough. There are four different endings. Um, so there is a reason to replay it as well as the achievements and you're probably going to get all of the achievements in about four hours so it's not a really hard 1000 game score completion but it's not like a five minute game now the game is playable on xbox one and xbox series x and s and it's a 4k resolution on xbox series x and s and xbox one x's now the game's priced at six pound and 39 pence and honestly it's not a bad game there's a few little niggles here and there and it is a little short but like the art and sound design is really decent and the the core sort of match three mechanic 
is fun and simple, but at times it can be overly difficult, especially with the sort of randomised nature of what you're given. Luckily, if you do fail, you just die, and you can just sort of basically replay it from like the last section, so you don't lose a lot of time, and you can skip all the cutscenes and stuff like that to get you straight back to where you were. So it, you, you don't lose a lot of ground. If you do fail, it's just slightly annoying, basically. But other than that, I highly recommend checking this out because it is a, a, a game that is different. I want you wouldn't expect like a a dark noiry sort of um, revenge plot full of sort of nudity and stuff with match three gameplay. So like I say, something different. Highly recommend giving it a check out if this is something you're into. But that's that for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon for more gaming content. Bye for now.